Hello student, in this video we will see what is process engineering. After completing this video, the student will able to understand what is process engineering or process planning. These are the content of this video. First introduction, second functions of process engineering, third preliminary part print analysis, steps of process planning, factor affecting the process planning, deciding sequence of operation and last one is operation sheet. Now we will start with introduction of process engineering. Process engineering Process engineering is the systematic determination of processes by which a product is to be manufactured economically and competitively. It also sometimes called as process planning. It is the system or process responsible for conversion of raw material into finished product by the most economical way within the limits of design specifications. Process engineering is also determining the most appropriate manufacturing processes and the sequence in which they should be performed to produce given part or product specified by design engineering. It is also a, a function within a manufacturing facility that establishes the processes and process parameters to be used to convert the part to the finished finish form or finished product. The process planning begins when the product design is completed, but the basic processes such as casting or forging must be planned during the product design stage only. because we have to decide what is available in the industry for manufacturing the product after that we have to design that product and then implement in a process engineering now we will see the functions of process engineering the first function of process engineering is basic manufacturing processes after getting the design from the design department we have to decide what are the basic manufacturing process used for the manufacturing second function is sequence of operation uh, sequence of operation means the operations are milling turning shaping grinding turning these are to be sequentially organized to manufacture the product third function is equipments and tooling required for the manufacturing of the part and op and to do the operations equipments and tools are required for that operations we have to decide that tools and equipment for that and last is inspection stages at the time of manufacturing the step by step inspection stages are followed for getting the accurate part for example we are after turning we have to check the diameter of the shaft for getting proper diameter of the shaft these are the functions of process planning now we will see the preliminary part analysis after the product is designed by a product designer and subsequent discussion with the process engineer the actual idea is represented by part drawings blueprints part prints the process engineer must study the part print to understand the requirements in the final product to decide how to use the information in part print analysis to get the required product figure shows the for example of part print analysis on the diagram we can see that the material required its front view top view side view and its 3d diagram is shown from that process engineer will decide what are the operations required what are the processes required and what are the material required can be analyzed by the process engineer next we will see the steps of process planning there are nine steps of process planning first is part print analysis as earlier discussed in previous slide the part print will be provided by design engineer to the process engineer to decide the sequence of operations with the manufacturing with the manufacturing specifications after part print analysis make or buy decision is the second step means after that the process engineer will decide uh, we have to manufacture that part in our industry or we can buy it from the other industry because 
some of the parts are easily available available from the vendors that can be uh, getting from that at a low cost and some difficult parts are required more time for manufacturing process unit also uh, decide that for manufacturing that part we have that machinery or or we have to buy that machinery by that buying machinery we can purchase the product we from the other industry to reduce the cost we can purchase it in a mass production type after make or buy decision we have to select the basic manufacturing processes once the decision to manufacture the part is made then the next step is to determine which basic processes like casting forging etc are to be performed on the product after selection of basic processes determine sequence of operation once the operation once the manufacturing process is selected then the sequence of operation is to be determined means we have to first uh, cast that product or we have to get uh, get purchase the raw material as a shaft and we have to uh, change their diameter by turning operation after the turning we have to do the shaping we have to do milling that can be that sequence is to be decided in this step after that combine the operation as many operations as possible should be combined to reduce the production cycle operations can be combined by simulation or by integration simulation involves those combination where two or more operations can be performed simultaneously after that selection of machine tools and equipment depending upon the quantity of product quality surface finish required cost of product type of material etc the machines and the tools are selected means for man for manufacturing a hard type of material product we have to select that type of tool for it next is inspection at the time of manufacturing we have to set the inspection stages time to time step to step means after turning we have to select after turning we have to check the diameter of the shaft by vernier caliper after inspection miscellaneous functions are there it involves other activities like labor requirement setting time standard and estimating the cost of production if the production cost is more than the expected cost then certain revision is to be done and after that last step is preparation of operation and root sheet this sheet contains the step to be followed during the manufacturing processes it lists the manufacturing operations in the decided sequence tool setup and operation time along with the machines associated with the each operation these are the all steps of process planning now now we will see the factors affecting the process planning there are six numbers of factors which affects the process planning in that first is production methods the process by which product is made influence the process planning because as the process vary machine tools labors and even the schedule vary means in simple words if the diameter of the shaft is changed for next product we have to decide the uh, we have to set inspection in that manner and sh- uh, after that we have to set the schedule for it next size and type of raw material the size and type of material determines as which basic methods of manufacturing should be used for example component to- for example component like engine is made by casting or forging next factor is process capability process capability tells about the natural tolerance of the machine means process engineers should know the which type of machines we have in the industry to manufacture that pro- product uh, that can be s- selected by the process engineer means this factor is very much important for the process engineering because if the product is changed we have to set the equipment in that type if we don't have that equipment we have to buy that equipment from the other company 
नेक्स्ट फैक्टर नेक्स्ट फैक्टर इज क्वांटिटी टू बी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड हायर द क्वांटिटी द मोर द मोर डिफाइंड एंड मोर इकोनॉमिकल प्रोसेस नीड टू बी सिलेक्टेड मास प्रोडक्शन जनरली डिमांड स्पेशल पर्पज मशीन एंड मीडियम और लो जॉब प्रोडक्शन रिक्वायर्स जनरल पर्पज मशीन्स लाइक ड्रिल इन मशीन लेथ मशीन दैट आर द जनरल पर्पज मशीन्स नेक्स्ट फैक्ट इज डिलीवरी डेट्स ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट लॉन्गर द डिलीवरी डेट अलाउज सफिशियंट टाइम फॉर द प्रोसेस इंजीनियर टू प्लान एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस इन डिटेल फॉर द शॉर्टर डिलीवरी पीरियड्स द प्रोडक्शन समटाइम हैज टू बी प्लान अकॉर्डिंगली एंड मेनी पार्ट्स आर टू बी ऑर्डर फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री एंड वी कैन गिव ओवर टाइम टू द लेबर्स टू गेट दैट पार्ट डन on time last factor is surface finish and accuracy required the surface finish required varies with the type of tool machine and manufacturing processes selected for example cnc machines give uh, well equipped surface finish uh, as compared to uh, manual lath machine we have to select that uh, we have to select proper machine for surface finish required if we required more surface finish then we can select a cnc machine if we required normal surface finish we can select lath machine also these are the factor that affecting the process plan now we will see now we will see deciding the sequence of operation for deciding the sequence of operation there are mainly five factors are to be considered first is basic processes the first step in deciding the manufacturing sequence of any part is basic processes the basic processes is the process from which the raw material is obtained for example forging casting are the basic process from that we will get the raw material for manufacturing means we have to use a suppose shaft on lathe machine for that shaft the rod is to be manufacturing in a casting department next is principal processes after the basic processes is decided the next step is to decide principal processes the principal processes is the process which follows the basic processes like machining means means one product can be the basic process for the other product if the casting or forging is basic process then the machining is the principal process for that for example extruding rolling drawing machining bending forming that are the primary processes that are the principal processes next is major operations major operations are the operations within the principal processes that may be classified in the importance of their sequence if the cutting is the principal plane if the cutting is the principal process then the major operation can be turning shaping milling broaching etc next step is auxiliary operation auxiliary operations are those which are necessary to ensure continuity and completion of the major operations they generally change the physical characteristics or appearance of the workpiece for example heat treatment welding short pinning heat treatment will change the hardness of the material for example we can say it next supporting operations these operations are performed in the these operations are performed in the last stage to define the successful completion of the product inspection should be properly introduced in between these operations inspection should be properly done before the material leaves the other department before important operations are done on it for example inspection quality control packing shipping these are the supporting operations for it now we will see the operation sheet the operation sheet shows everything about the operations and indicates the operation descriptions sequence type of machinery used tool used and operation time required for that process it includes the part name pa material of that part part number quantity operation sequence operation description machine and tool required cutting speed feed 
setup time, operating time totals as shown in the diagram. Thank you. From this video, you have seen the what is process planning or you can say it as process engineering. In the next video, we will see the critical path method. Thank you. If you like this video, you can subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more videos like this.